What's going on YouTube? Monty the Master here bringing you the fourth and final DLC Havoc map, Drift. We are going to take a little tour through all the buildings. I believe this is a Colorado Ski Lodge or some ridiculous thing over in the Rocky Mountains. What is exciting about this map is it's a 360 degree map of pure carnage, assault rifles, snipers, SMGs, and shotguns. This is the map that every player can use their type of playstyle on. So on the map, you can see that it's very wide open, in some areas anyway. A lot of close quarters, depending on where you're at. And then if you look over on the right side, you can see that there's going to be a little bit of little square patch next to that carousel. There's going to be some people that like to like to chill up there. We're going to go over there and check that out right now. Okay, starting out, we are going to travel to the carousel. Okay, this for some reason is not spinning right now, but it does spin. People can go on it. You don't really do it very often. Why? Because you only have cover in one direction. Otherwise, you can get shot everywhere else. On top, no reason to go on top. Because you're not hiding from anybody. Okay, so this is the square room I was talking about. The reason for this is because you can access it from the front, the back, and see people coming from the uh, other spawns. Also have a little bit of cover, but it's not the best protected area. Okay, I like to come over to this station because I like to check the weather. Yep. Here's the weather report for uh, for this map. It's currently 45 degrees, so that's always really exciting. Um, what's really, really cool about this map is approximately halfway through or so, this entire side over here gets avalanched full of snow. If you haven't already, um, I do have a video of my first time playing on this map. I'm standing just over here with my clanmate Lord Louie. He's running away from the avalanche. My screen goes completely white. It was like the best place at the best time to watch that. So this entire spot gets covered with snow and it's kind of like a little little lift that you can you can chill on to just kill people. So just picture all this covered in snow. Unfortunately, I can't fast forward this game to do that so I apologize um, when you're in here though just a heads up these Christmas trees totally bulletproof yeah just keep that in mind you can hide behind these and not get killed how I know this try to shoot through one definitely didn't kill the guy okay so what we're gonna do now is though that you've seen almost the entire outskirts of this map we are going to go and take a tour of the insides the guts, the blood of this map, okay? There are some little sneaky spots that you can hide, like search and destroy, and you can just grab your knife, see someone go, and boom, you got a knife. Okay, got that carousel again, it's still not moving. Okay, this is a very interesting map right here. Uh, map, just building, I'm sorry. Where am I going? The reason I say this is because there's only one way... Um, there's a glass window, that's embarrassing. Okay, there's only one window that you can actually see into the middle of the courtyard, and you can have a good bit of cover. The only time that you can't kill anyone in this box is when they're behind this little metal blockade. But other than that, you can, you can just pick people off. The one thing to keep an eye out for is there was two and a half entrances. So you got one there, one there, and then that window. But they have to jump to get that window. That's why I said a half. Um, you will see the occasional sniper chilling right, right here, picking people off in that square room or in... Uh, coming out of spawn. Um, coming over to the very, very, very back of this map. Um, probably going to be a little perch right here. 
that you can might be able to pull off a kill or two. This isn't going to be the biggest sniper perch, um, but you might be able to sneak off a kill or two. Um, all in all, don't go that way. Totally fallen off the map once. It wasn't very cool. Definitely ended one of my, my streaks. Okay, all in all, this map is ginormous. It requires uh, different play styles depending on different modes and the lobbies that you're in. If you're playing against a lot of snipers, you gotta go take it slow. Maybe play a little bit of longer range or grab that submachine and just kind of sneak up and take them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video sideshow. This is Monty Masher signing out.